Okay, right now we're currently at the very core in between uh, stop or spot uh, within the between the two races. Okay, that's one is like technological culture, but having coming to Mother Earth offering offering its service, and the other point is like the natural world or the forest. And there's this car network and there's this forest network. So uh, how we can use crystals to kind of openly show that um, we're here to. To tune in, uh, was like a internet, inter, international, natural galactic shamans with crystals. So we do this crystal create a line network uh, to smoothen out uh, the technology and smoothen out this um, forest. It's not like you know. Uh, I mean, what I mean by smoothening out the forest is uh, kind of they don't attack these people too much because uh, it is not nice because they don't really know anything about the forest and. These people don't, you know, forest doesn't know anything about technology, so we need to figure out how, where are these uh, touches here, and how can, you know, because look, good things can also happen with, with technology, it's not only bad things. Sometimes we can create a beautiful lava light grid with this, and um, uh, it's, it's uh, kind of a smoothing point, the stop, it's an in between point between these two worlds. And we, we kind of want to understand both, and this is why we invite in this crystal love light shamans with crystals. Crystals. And this uh, shamanic uh, crystal network, love light network, it will start to kind of uh, openly admit uh, mistakes from both sides uh, and openly, uh, like, uh, they're, um, they have permission because they kind of need to forgive everyone and they need to be understanding and helping with the information. And they need to be helpful because they're like volunteers, they're not here to fuck with you. And uh, this is, I'm simply reducing this uh, huge uh, crystal grid, the shamanic love line network. And it's like uh, trying to understand both sides, trying to understand all sides. And at the same time, you know, having this uh, spiritual permissions to doing this uh, crystal grid uh, shows and takes off. And, uh, it's mostly mostly about smoothening, healing, and information, and um, uh, it's not like about gaining power. And um, it's if you get some uh, uh, okay, I want to be clear about this. If you get some richness out of it, it's simply to help you to work with this because human life is sacred and your time here is limited. So you kind of need to work with the sacred crystals, uh, being in touch with Mother Earth, being in touch with the surface, and. Um, figuring out how to heal both sides and it's not like one side is better or that they also let's say you are a you know, human you know you have this huge cosmic race coming in you don't understand who this cosmic race is but at the same time maybe one point in your evolution you kind of grow up in a forest you want to go explore other planets then maybe you also go with these vehicles or shells or so so it's not like you can judge too much this about it's like uh, sometimes uh, we have to dare to take like both opinions in our hand or something. It's uh, sometimes um, like uh, it's only people are talking like about uh, like how cars is so good and uh, you know Mother Earth gets sad or something gets very sad because people are only talking how good is about to develop technology and something like this. How good is to develop technology? But the trees are like worried. Nobody's noticing the trees, or you know. And of course, it creates this huge drama. It's like a love drama, a love light, or something. You know, they get very sad and very worried because people are only driving with technology cars and never noticing Mother Earth's beauty or something. And uh, you know, the tree spirits get worried because uh, they also want to interact, but they're you know sad, and they can understand this. Human souls also sad because they're like. Like you know, enjoying other other benevolent um, you know habits at the, at the current at the same time. But the goal is is not to destroy each other. The goal is to kind of um, bring out this best uh, what is in humanity and bring out the best. Like how can we grow our children beautiful in the love line network? Just so as we can, already we showed this a little bit with example with our childhood, but. This is why we use this childhood example to show that it's possible to live in harmony with technology and with Mother Earth. It's, it's like possible, but uh, sometimes it's too much. Uh, and it's mostly it's like emotional too much to Kaya and its children. Sometimes there's these huge cosmic forces coming in, and this is why we have this.
Crystallic Shamanic Love Light the Warriors who explain when there is a ship shift happening and they're prepared, they, they go to tough spaces, like it's, they're sad but they go to tough place, places before like events even happen and so when something should happen to you they already know and they will start to explain let's say you, you meet the Love Light U4 a spaceship, of course they need to be ready for these kind of cases and it's like for international safety also it's like, it's like event creation, you know, it has the like, purpose of creating this huge cosmic international event and for this we need to be emotionally in tune, emotionally ready and um, stuff like this. So, so and uh, if we are out of touch, uh, both worlds will get sad, but if we are in touch, both worlds will get happy. Uh, so we need to communicate on both sides and uh, this is, uh, you know, Kind of, you know, sometimes the galaxy is wavering or uh, not knowing its purpose and something like this. Mm.